for the next dimension in stunts? Two words. Zero G. Got your duo rail track system. Got your low friction zero G racer. Put them together and your world's a blur. What am I gonna do? Draw your diagram? Okay. Fly through the air. Hit the U-turn. Spiral down. Pull that chute. Land here. Got it? Good. Who else has this kind of stunt action? Nobody. New zero G. Each set and additional cards sold separately. Some assembly required. From Matchbox. The alien invasion has begun. Animorphs transform! The evil aliens led by Visser 3 are here. But we can change too, into any animal we touch. And when Heroic Axe changes into a scorpion, Visser 3 is gonna get stung. Each sold separately. Transformers! Introducing Magic Works. No fail magic you can master in minutes. Metal cannot penetrate metal. Yes, it can. I will defy the laws of science with crystal cleaver. Your ring? An ordinary box? A metal sword? I place the ring into the box. And magically, metal through metal. Wow! Unbelievable! That's scientifically impossible. You're right. It's magic. Crystal cleaver, one of the many tricks you can collect in the world of magic works. It's a game nightmare. The game hosted by a video. Stop it. Roll the dice. The video board game Nightmare. The gatekeeper talks to you. Whose turn is it, Ned? And you must answer him. Answer me! Yes, my gatekeeper. Go for it! Nightmare. A race against time for three to six very game players. Let's party! Now comes the ultimate water weapon, Robo Blaster. It's water time! No pumping required. From its giant water pack, Robo Blaster shoots from your finger and soaks Aww. without mercy. That was a blast. Robo Blaster from Cap Toys. Who else? Ask question! What is one plus one plus one? Three? Not this time. The answer is. One! The new Super Soaker XP85 Triple Shot! The one and only Super Soaker that fires one, two, three, see the water at once! Rotating nozzles let you hit the target to the left, to the right, to the middle, and everything in between! Any questions? Hey Sarge, what's three times three? That's great! The new line is Super Soaker XP85 Triple Shot! Well, it's better! Colonel William Guy. One of the greatest martial artists in the world travels the global tournament circuit, using it to conceal his top secret mission as leader of an elite group of international crime fighters known only by their code name, Street Fighters. The heroic man beast, Blanca, hard kicking fighting machine, Chun Li. Most amazing warriors ever seen have joined forces with Guile to combat the criminal empire of Shadaloo and its superhuman leader, Bison. They have their own code of honor, discipline, justice, commitment, and together they will triumph against the forces of evil. Street Fighter!
Who is it? Must be the room service I ordered. Oh, Escher. <laughs> These Boy Scouts were serious about not being seen. The Asian heat imaging satellite relay almost missed him. <laughs> the little darlings did everything except bathe in ice cream. Mm. Thank you for the insight, Cammy. The terrorists are demanding $10 million by tomorrow night. Officially, the Chinese government is attempting to meet the demand. Unofficially. Uh, let me guess. I'm going to China. Your orders are to get in there, secure the reactor, and take out the terrorists. Local officials are working as fast as they can to evacuate the surrounding area. But if the reactor goes... We know what's at stake, sir. I know you know. It's just... this one scares me. Go assemble your team. Let's jet! Given the location, I imagine you'll want to use Chum Lee for this one. Showtime. So Wuhan's in trouble. Good riddance. Chun Li. I won't go back there. You're the best person for the job. Because I know the area? Go get a map. <laughs> Your call. Wait! Wait! What about all these people? I'm getting a map, remember? Guile! When do we leave? time. We'll drop in here, cross this bridge, and move to the reactor from here. No, there's no bridge there. The bridge is here. <laughs> Chun-Li, you're already worth your freight. Well, we'll cross here then. This is the floor plan for the reactor. We'll enter from these access areas and meet here. The reactor is there, isn't it? It's there. Closing in on the drop site, Colonel. Set radio transmitters for frequency 5. I don't do anything wouldn't do. In other words, flatten them. What a rip! <sighs> Up here. Blanca? Enjoying the view? Just help me down, please. I don't know. We're on a schedule. Hey! I can't take you anywhere. Going down. <clears throat> Time to move out. If you're all through sightseeing, that is. This way? No, this way.
Happy landing. <laughs> Take out any surveillance equipment, cameras, monitors, whatever. Uh, maybe a little late for that. Maybe a lot late. Evasive pattern J, go! Blanca, now! Sonic, boom! No, Blanca. It could blow. Chun-Li, use your whirlwind kick. But I can't sustain it. What happened to the strongest woman in the world? Spinning bird kick! <laughs> Sonic! The containment chamber's been wired to blow. Well, Colonel. Bison. John Lee. I wish I could say it's a pleasure to see you all again. <laughs> Bison's transmitting from somewhere in here. We can get to him before he detonates. It's a bluff. He blows the reactor, he gets nothing. And if he's here, he goes up with us. Either way, we've got to defuse those explosives. Uh-uh. We've got to find Bison. We're here to keep that reactor from blowing. A lot of lives are at stake. I want Bison. He'll pay for his crimes. We all want to get Bison. Don't let your anger cloud your judgment. Cammy, are you picking up anything from up there? Uh, it looks like some of our little pals are still inside. Could be wiring the whole place, even as we chat. Let's get to work. Guile, clear. So far. <sighs> Blanca, clear. chun -Li. clear. Chun-Li, do you see the chamber yet? Chun-Li, Chun-Li, respond! Oh, don't do this, kid. Chun-Li's not responding. I think she's found something. Or someone. I'll meet you there. Uh. <gasps> Bison! Uh. 
Legion's armed. I have only to touch a button and boom. Not if I get you first. You're just like your father, foolish and weak. <laughs> I need the jet hovercraft equipped with the signal tracking gear. Now! It's a date, Colonel. I'll be there in two ticks. So we're going after him. And this time, follow orders. Don't ever go off radio again. Remember the Street Fighter code of honor. Discipline, justice, commitment. You can't abandon your team for personal motives. Yes, sir. We've got something. Give me half a sec. Bison must be close enough to trigger that detonator, but far enough away so that the follow-up won't affect him. When it's locked on the source of the hologram signal, we'll have him. You with us, Chun-Li? We've got to get that detonator. The whole area could blow. Good riddance. My father's the only one who cared about the village. Everyone abandoned him when Bison showed up. Chun-Li, get your head on straight. Coordinates, 32 degrees west, latitude 47 degrees, longitude 5. Clear out, you slackers. There's a bison to bust. Oh, bloody cow! The left engine's whacked! All right, time to punch out, kiddies! Are you nuts? Cannon drill! Zangief! <sighs> Mr. Pretty is mine. So you want to play? Flash kick! <clears throat> Tag! You're it! <clears throat> Bison, you're mine now! Jun Lee! <sighs> this way! Come up short, Bison? It'll be the last time. Fireball! <gasps> Remember the reactor! One button sends it up in smoke and everything around it! You've already taken the most important thing in my life from me! You may be the strongest woman in the world, but I am the strongest man! Fireball! 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 I've destroyed countries for less than that, just as I destroyed your father. You're just like your father, weak! I will not fail. <laughs> Fools! Stop! You're mine. What does it take to stop you? I wonder if I hit your plane's fuel tank with my fireball, could even you survive the blast? How many will die so you can have revenge? Give me 
the detonator. <laughs> You're weak, Chun Li. Very weak. <laughs> I think your father would have been proud of his daughter today. The detonation device was successfully recovered and the reactor was secured well before the terrorist deadline. While Bison himself was not captured, thousands of people who were otherwise at risk were not harmed in this action. I consider this mission a success. I'm sorry, father. Bison, but I chose to let him go. Bison was right when I took the detonator, when I let him escape. He said I was weak. He was wrong, Chung Li. By giving up a chance for revenge to save the lives of others, you honored your father's memory, and you proved you are the strongest woman in the world. Race your blades, your board, or a bike. It's the ball that all Crash it, smash it. Hey, it's your motorball. Fear the frequency. To order, call the number on your screen. Must be 18 or older to call. Jigsaw puzzles took our world and always made it flat. This is what new Pub 3D is doing about that. It's going up. Going up. New Puzz 3D, going up. New Puzz 3D, the fully dimensional puzzle that's challenging every inch of the way. It's going up, going up. New Puzz 3D, going up. My little brother has more brains in his finger than all of you put together. Says who? Says 2XL. Food facts. A peanut is neither a pea nor a nut. True. Sports. If a fly ball hits the foul pole. Home run. Animals. Has it ever rained frogs? Yes. Space. Trivia. Monsters. Pretty nifty but fun pushing. 2XL comes with one program tape. Additional tape sold separately. Batteries not included. We're walking through the jungle, and what did you see? A gorilla with the coconuts is swinging at me. The gorilla's got the coconuts, and your monkey's got to grab as many as he can. Get the most coconuts, and you win. But watch out, or Bongo Congo will send you flying off your tree. Bongo Congo, a lot of nutty fun. Bongo Congo, you got him more. Right one. He'll drive you coco nuts. Bongo Congo, move from ideal. Do the chicken limbo. Chicken limbo. The one. Big fun. Spin the spinner, go under the bar without bobbing the chicken, but if you do... <laughs> chicken limbo. The one. Big fun. Chicken limbo. This is the old way to draw. Black and white. No more black and white. Now, add color to your drawings with a new super color writer. That's bad. Make lots of colorful designs. Or just goof around. <laughs> Flip the power band to erase as much as you want. Flip it and draw again. <laughs> and again. Power and cooler! Power and cooler! 
the new Nickelodeon Super Color Writer. Batteries not included. From Mattel. Supernatural things. Magic and sorcery. They're back. From out of the gloom, stalk your worst nightmares. Ghouls, zombies, werewolves, vampires. You can't be sure what lurks out there in the darkness of night. With a dark stalker. Chiron, intergalactic collector of planets, wants the Earth, and he's going to get it even if he has to wake the undead. He summons Dimitri, Lord of the Vampires, to launch a reign of terror, to release a plague of monsters and bring humans to their knees. But other night warriors are on the prowl. Monstrous, awesome contenders with bizarre fighting powers. Immortal creatures locked in battle to decide the fate of the world. It's enough to make your blood run cold. Are you sure that they can't see us? Quite sure. My light cloak is perfect. You worry too much. Now, Raj, must copy on that path. The screwdriver just buck up this sucker on land. Ugh. Monstrous. Shocking. Mm -hmm. When we last visited this planet, 4,000 years ago, it was inhabited by many different intelligent races. They all understandably looked upon me as a god. But now there are billions of them, common grubby little beings without any powers, any magic, any usable mutations. Well, are you going to destroy those ridiculous creatures? No, I can't. The arrangement must be perfect. No, the answer lies in the old races. They must still be there. I will awaken them, and they will reassert the balance. And I will start with... Dimitri. Stalkers will return. And now, back to Dark Stalkers. Are you the idiot that woke me in daylight? Lord Dimitri Maximoff, last of the vampires. I am Pyron, your master. Bow and serve me, my master. I shall show you mastery! I was told that you were powerful, but you are merely adequate. So, you are not as pitiful as you look. Not bad. Perhaps I can make something of you yet. Now. Will you serve me? Yes, master. Good. You, Dimitri, will be my general and re-establish my rule over the petty humans of this world. Humans? Ugh. Who needs them? Why not just wipe them out? Get rid of them! The proper balance demands that the humans will serve the old races and that the old races will serve me. Not even the galaxy will be able to contain my dark powers. An endless night will fall upon a million planets! And what do I get out of it? Power beyond your wildest dreams, everlasting life, and amusements that will please even your vile imagination. 
well, my Imperial Lord of Darkness. You've just bought yourself a general. Time we met. Silence, succubus! I am your general. Bah, you and what army? Primitives. Those primitives will wreck this ship if you don't stop them. Ooh. Stop it, you fools! I didn't come a million miles to watch you two fight like spoiled children. Morrigan, he is your general. Never! And you, Dimitri. Morrigan is your second in command. Respect her. You will need each other. As long as she remembers that I am in charge. Ha! I am in charge. Then you, then Morrigan. No. in my pants. Welcome the Hittite ambassadors. Bring forth Davy and dancing frogs. I think he was in that pyramid far too long. In the name of Hachiman, spirit of all warriors, we greet this day. <gasps> Did I say something wrong? <laughs> oh! Oh! It is no good. After all this time, the curse of Steer lives. Oh, and Steer, I am in its power.
Huh? Oh, great. Great. Thirty years late for Woodstock. Huh? Bloody marvellous. I might have known. And now, my general, for the difficult ones. Darkstalkers will return. And now, back to Darkstalkers. I just want to be left alone. You're coming with us! I don't belong here. Perhaps you're not the great leader that you think you are. Shut up, you smirking soul sucker! I will deal with him later. Yes, my general. <sighs> Is it true? Am I, Raku, the last of the mermen? Is there no queen to share this palace with me, the most perfect of Neptune's creatures? Or must I live out my days alone? Thank you, my friend. <sighs> ah, me. Riku of the Mermen, greetings! It is I, Lord Dimitri. Come, come join us, and we shall enslave the air breathers! Join you, you unnatural monster, enemy of all life! You know, there will come a time when you are no longer needed. We'll see who's needed. Who's next? Yes, yes, I will! No! No, you won't! Understand this. You don't kill any of them. They are part of my collection. As 
are you. The collection must be perfect, whole, symmetrical. You will bend them to your will, and then we will teach the humans their place. Is that understood? My costume is out of date? Out of date? How dare they? It's a tour of cats, not my fair lady. Maybe showbiz was a bad idea. I don't like the look of the bag. Where'd it go? Felicia, I am Dmitri Maximov, Lord of the Dark Stalkers. Come, come with us. We need you. those slackers. We don't need them. We can take care of the humans ourselves. No, that's not the plan. First the older race, then the humans. We stick to the plan. But there is one other, a human, a powerful sorcerer. Felicia was near his tower when... When you lost her? When she disappeared. If I find him, I think I will find her. I must see him. Hey! Uh, there's no sorcerer here. This house belongs to my mom and dad. It's been in the Grimori family for 300 years. Grimori? It is Elijah Grimori that I seek. He's a friend of my kind. Wait a minute. He was my great, great, great grandfather. He died before the Civil War. Uh, and, ow, you're hurting my arms. Oh, sorry, but sorcerers don't die. Yeah, right. Who are you? And what are you doing in my room? I have no choice. I have to trust you. Look, Harry. Harry, I am a cat woman, probably the last of my kind. The old races have been disappearing for centuries. Last night I was attacked by a vampire named Dimitri. I think he wants me to help him rule the world or something. Yeah, and I'm the queen of Sheba. Look, I'm sorry you think you turn into a cat. But there are no such things as vampires. That's movie stuff. Now, I gotta go to school. My mom gets mad if she finds strange cat women in my room. So could you just go? Harry, what can I say to convince you? Uh, I, I, I think you just did. Elijah Grimori. It is I, Lord Dimitri of the Vampires. Hand over the girl, Felicia, and I may spare your miserable little life. Harry, run! No 
what you must do. Yes, capture the rebels, bind them with oaths, and conquer the earth. Now, swear to serve me. We swear. So be it. I am sorry that I involved your people in this. Dimitri and his evil master started this, not you. We are all involved. Good luck, my friend. We shall meet again soon. Aye, for evil must be fought. Well, until that time, Bigfoot. Master's faithful servant? Oh, Igor! I am home. But, but I am not... Igor? Why, Igor was my great-great-grandfather! Great-great? How great? Baron von Gödenheim was like a father to me. He made me what I am today. Well, aren't you special? <laughs> What's so funny? Oh, nothing. You know, my family, the Schmendricks, have served the Baron since you were born. In fact, we still do. Still? You mean... Yeah, he is here. Baron Van Gerdenheim. I'm home, Papa. Catwoman, and then a vampire. And what was that light beam thing that hit me? I have no idea, but it's over now. You should go home. No way! Suppose that Dimitri guy comes back. Besides, I can be a big help to you. You know, fighting evil and stuff. Honest. You have no idea what you're saying. Even if you are a descendant of Elijah Gomori, you're not a trained sorcerer. Could you give me a hand here? Well, you're a Grimori, all right. Darkstalkers will return. And now, back to Darkstalkers. Gonna be trouble, your baby and the man. Just cause I'm the Doodle Bear, the original Doodle Bear I love to doodle and doodle and doodle When there's no room for something new I hop in that washing machine and come out nice and clean Cause I'm the Doodle Bear Doodle Bear comes in one of four different colors With washable doodle pans and tattoos Each bear sold separately Mix 
Make Center with working blender and mixer requires adult assembly. Oven sold separately. Batteries and some ingredients not included. Team Claws, Muscles, and Jaws! Dream Dinosaurs! Super Cool Superheroes! Bullseye, Stags, Spike, and T-Bone! Extinction Stinks! Extreme Dinosaurs! Part Man, Part Dinosaur! Cool! Fighting to stop the evil Raptor Man! I'll have you for lunch! Eat this! Team Claws, Muscles, and Mighty Max, Mighty Max, it's Mighty Max. Welcome to Skull Dungeon. Wow! Mighty Max. Smasher, get up! Your brain donor is here. Me want brain. No way, slime face. Whoa! Watch out for that first step. Uh, it's not over, Mighty Max. Will Max get fried? His fate <laughs> is in your hands. Mighty Max, Mighty Max. You can collect all his adventure sets, each sold separately. Mighty Max figure included from Mattel. Got a problem? Yeah! Settle it in the future with Power Gladiators. Let's do it! Power Gladiators. You control them. Arm them, crash them, in far out combat so intense you'll lose your head. Each time you blow your top, you lose a weapon. Lose them all, and you're scrapped. Uh, power is mine! Power Gladiators comes with two radio controlled robots. Control the future with Power Gladiators. I hate to take the joy out of your joystick, Dr. Wily, but I'm afraid you're not in control yet. Destroy him! I'm going to make paper dolls out of you! Hey, Gutsman, what do you shout when you're cutting down a tree? Uh, timber? If you insist. Smile, Megatwerp! I want to get a picture of your last moment on Earth! Thanks for the race. Now I'll have to tan your hide. Ah! You really got a charge out of that one. In time, I'm going to get a charge out of this. Hey! What's happening? The end of Mega Man is what's happening. <laughs> No! 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 <laughs> I've done it back! I've destroyed Mega Man! <laughs> hey! I thought I told you I wanted to destroy my brother! Stop! What do you think you're doing? 
I'm tired of playing this stupid game with your little puppets. Hey, all right, all right. You can destroy Mega Man during the real operation. Now you're talking, Doc. Prepare to leave at once for the power station. I'll show Dr. Light and his robo-fools who the real genius is. Won't I, my little pet? Ladies and gentlemen, I am proud to unveil my latest 9000 series domestic robots. First, there's Dolores the Robo Nanny. She feeds and changes diapers in one easy operation. Then there's Morris the Robo Butler. He can pick out your clothes and doubles as a chauffeur. And finally, there's Doris, the robo-maid. She cooks and cleans and never complains. But I don't do windows. Well, almost never complains. Ooh. Ooh. I'm glad Dr. Light designed a better robo-maid. Now I'll have more time to concentrate on being a <coughs> robo-hero. No offense, Roll, but I think you better stick to your housework. <laughs> No. Not so fast, <laughs> Mecho Mutt. Not <laughs> Bad Robo Dog. What am I going to do about your constant misbehaving? <laughs> Try designing a Robo Dog Catcher. What was that? Sounded like an explosion. Come on, Rush. Let's check it out. <laughs> Someone's broken into the power company. Better switch to stealth mode. the master computer. Mega Man, you're late. You got here 30 seconds earlier in our war game. Sorry to disappoint you, Robo Bro. Did I win or lose? You were destroyed by me. Really? In that case, I'll have to return the favor. Plasma power! <laughs> Let him get your flesh stopper, you fool! Fools! I'll have to attach the override relay myself! to brush your titanium teeth, sir. No thanks, Morris. The only thing that can give me cavities is dynamite. But I could use a good cleaning after a dirty battle with Dr. Wily. I'm a clean, mean, mega machine. Huh? Oh no! It's acid! It's locked from the outside. And Dr. Light reinforced the lab with super steel to keep Dr. Wily out. 
Only now, it's keeping me in! Stick around for more Mega Man after these messages. Oh, Mega Man! Get out of here fast! This acid will eat right through my titanium skin! Hey! In here! Dr. Light! Hmm. At last! Now! I control everything connected to the power grid. We're under attack by Dr. Wally. Send in the army. I think you've got the wrong number. <laughs> it's everything under my control. Let the Mega Man out of the way. The world is mine. <laughs> I've only got a few seconds left. Now why would anyone bar the outside of the bathroom door? Oh no! <coughs> Good timing, Dr. Light. <coughs> Another second and I would have been Mega Mush. Mega Man, what happened? Someone tried to dissolve me. It appears we've got a spy in the land. Oh, swell. But who? Can we be of any further assistance, sir? Yes. Please clean up this mess. Right away, sir. I've got a sneaking suspicion the butler did it. There's no time to worry about that. Something's coming in over the emergency satellite scanner. Dr. Light, this is Captain Evans at Central Station. The city's being overrun by every while he's using the electricity to control everything in the city. So that's what he was doing at the power plant. I must figure out some way to stop him. Come on, Rush. We gotta help those innocent people. Rush? Yum, yum. For you. We got work to do. <laughs> Let's burn paws. So long, Mega Man. We'll be there any second, Rush. Hey, what's gotten into you? It's about us taking care of you! All right, you metal meddler! Get ready to join the junkie! Cutting you to pieces is going to be sheer delight! There's no time to play with these clowns. We've got a city to save. Let's go, Rush! What'd you do that for? Cause he's an obedient mutt! Ain't that right, Flea Brain? I'm going to trim your life, Blue Boy! Yeah. Don't I get a say in this? Sure. What'll it be? A clip job? Or a pounding? How about both at the same time? Hey! You. I couldn't have done it better myself. What's wrong, 
young fella. <laughs> this circuit card was controlling you. And my hunch is whoever did this is the one who gave me an acid bath. No, Unfortunately, there's no time to worry about that now. Come on! Size never hurt anyone. <laughs> Whatever you're up to, Wiley, Dr. Light and I are gonna stop it. Mega Man! Oh, my spy took care of you. Sorry to disappoint you. Oh, you didn't? I'd much rather destroy you myself. Better beat it before I become the blue plate special! Time to practice my backhand. Well, Mega and Rush are in trouble. Good thing I got here in time. Mega, where are you? Welcome to the cosmetic department room. Yeah! Hey, let me go! Not before I give you the beauty treatment. Get that oversized powder bomb out of my face! Stay tuned. We'll be right back after these messages. We now return to Mega Man. Stop having your own snap. Soda machine's out of order, huh? How's that fixed it? Mega Man, it's behind you! Huh? I doubt that's covered under warranty. I don't think you've got the color right. There! That's better. I'll handle her. No, she's mine! Dr. Light to find a way to stop them at the source. Oh, that was too close. This train will take us back to the lab safely. <laughs> Good boy, Rush. It's coming back. There must be somewhere Wiley can't get to us. Quick, down here. That way. And so I am stepping down as your governor and turning over the state to Dr. Wiley. And my first official act of business, I'm placing my trusted friends in all key positions. You can relax now. You're all in good hands. <laughs> I've got to stop that maniac before he can do any more harm. Ah, there. This should do the trick. Dr. Light, look out! Hasta la vista, Mega Man. Stop, make a man 
la vista, Mega Man la vista, Mega Man la vista. <laughs> For a housekeeping robot, she sure can make a mess. Mega Man, if you can attach this device to the power grid, we can shut down Dr. Wily's control circuits. It's our only chance. You've got to get through. I'll do my best. by the governor's robot officers. On second thought, I guess you should be alarmed. <laughs> that little blue dweeb thinks he can sneak past me, does he? Well, I've got a surprise for him. Attention all police robo units. Mega Man is heading east on Jupiter Street. Intercept. And destroy! Robo officer in the side pocket. Yes! Ah, uh, no. I guess there's only one thing to do when you can't trust the police department. <laughs> Call the fire department. Not so fast, little brother. If you're really my brother, Proto Man, you'll do the right thing and let me stop Dr. Wily's crazy scheme. It wouldn't seem so crazy if you'd join us, bro. Not a chance. Have it your way. Wow! That really stings my circuits! This ought to fix Proto Man. Better work. What's happening? I'm losing control. You mean you've lost control? What, you overgrown circuit breaker? Man! Destroy Mega Man! So you command, so it shall be done. Now, to finish you off. your power. You're out of your league, Pharaoh Man. Going gone. You haven't seen the last of me, Mega Man. I'll be back. And I'll be waiting. Looks like Dr. Wily won't be bothering us for a while. But what if he tries to get control of the power grid again? He can't. The device I made had a security circuit built into it. Now that Dr. Wily's taken care of, what about his robo-spy Doris? Oh, don't worry about her. I reprogrammed her into Rush's personal servant. <laughs> yes, sir, Mr. Doggy, sir. Walkies! <laughs> Walkies! Right away, sir, Mr. Doggy, sir. Mega Mega! Right back! Messages!
job to do down south. I knew this old Jeep sandblaster could handle it, but I didn't know if I could. The trail was rough, what there was of it, but we made it. Okay, Ben, you're home. You gotta do what you gotta do. Power Wheels new Jeep Sandblaster. Adult supervision required. The evil alien M. Grocer. Only Colonel Chance can save the Earth from enslavement. Only Laser Wars has advanced laser technology that shakes warriors till they fall. Explodes robots. Robot destroyed. Blows up vehicles. Awesome. Reassembly complete. You fire the hit. hit. They scream. They yeah. fall. You fire. Go. You Go. hit. You Laser destroy wall. them all. Fight the Laser Wars. Laser Wars with advanced laser technology to stun or destroy warriors, robots, and vehicles sold separately. There are lots of teddy bears, but only one Teddy Ruxpin. Hi, my name is Teddy Ruxpin. Hi, Teddy. Your friend is what I'd like to He's be. He's a bird. How does he do that? He's a magic bear. One day, we found an He's old treasure map. The magic treasure was bear. supposed to be. My friend Teddy Ruxpin. Teddy Ruxpin comes with storybook and cassette. Other stories sold separately. Batteries not included. Unleash the Typhoon, the only 9.6V radio-controlled hovercraft in the world. The Typhoon hovercraft blasts over the ground on a cushion of air. You command the Typhoon by radio control. Three powerful turbo motors for straight-line speed. Do a 360. Now, Typhoon hits the water. Incredible. The RC that runs on land and water. Typhoon. You've got the turbo power to handle anything. Typhoon and Mini Typhoon, the only 9.6V radio-controlled hovercraft in the world from Tyco. A world where only the strong survive. A world of Cadillacs and dinosaurs. to stop this dinosaur threat once and for all. Tenrek, get out! I didn't invite you. An old blood mechanic doesn't need your invitation, Shard Horse. Captain Nock, throw this man out. Yes, Governor. Guards! No, let Jack stay. I think it's important to hear the opinion of an old blood mechanic about your plan. Nonsense. You know what they say. The machinery of life is a balance, and we have to maintain it. That's fact, not opinion. Exactly what do you plan to do about the Mac threat to our settlements? 
I will decimate this herd of Max, removing that danger forever. Let's vote on it. What? Well, I think there's merit to your plan, Governor Scharnhorst. I, too, would like to hear Mr. Tenrick's reaction. Don't you all realize you're sealing your own fate, and the fate of everyone in this city? What did I tell you? Really, Jack? Aren't you stretching things a little? Am I? Okay. Wipe out the Max. Why not? I believe why not is the reason we asked you to stay. So why not, hmm? Think. If Sharnhorst wipes out the Max, come next spring, what do you think the Cutters will eat? A cattle, that's what. Ridiculous. We'll post guards. Do you think guards can stop octopus weeds from choking our fields? Without any Max to devour those weeds, our crops will die, and the whole city will starve. So we'll poison the octopus weeds. And pollute our food? Ourselves and our children? The Machinato Vitae allows no shortcuts. There's a reason for life on every level of the food chain. That's true. What Tenrek calls the Machinatio Vitae is known by all Wasoons as the Circle of Life, and the circle must not be broken. Ambassador Dundee, I thank you for coming, but I remind you you're only here as an observer. Yes. And what I observe is the fine job you're all doing to keep nature in harmony. As you know, what affects you today touches my tribe tomorrow. It's worth a vote. Personally, I've always wanted to see what Jack has up his sleeve. Then I move to let Tenrek handle this Mac problem. All in favor? All right, but only 72 hours, Tenrek, and then I step in. The Council has a responsibility to safeguard the settlement lands and the settlers. Good luck, Jack. Thanks. I'll need all I can get. Shall I stop him, Governor? Why bother? Let Jack hang himself. I'd hate to be in the path of those Max. Nothing can stop them. Well, Mustafa, according to old Jack, you're gonna be. And me too. What... what can we do out there? Evacuate the settlers? No. If we do that, the Max won't leave until they chow down on every last bite of our crops. Okay, what are we gonna do? We're gonna move them out. This is nuts, Tenrek. One of the privileges of weighing a couple of tons is that Max go where Max want to go. We'll make the Max want to go someplace else. And how are we gonna do that, Jack? Ask him, pretty please? No, we'll take these big beauties. I'll pilot the red one, and you drive the blue one, Mustafa. Uh, thanks, Jack. But exactly what am I going to do with it? Herd the Max to safe ground. Did he say, herd the Max? Since when do dinosaurs like to be herded? And with Cadillacs yet? The truth is, I don't know if it's gonna work, but it's worth a try. It will work, Jack. I've been to the library. What are you doing here? I'm a volunteer. I figured you need all you can get. Look, I found an historical precedent for your idea in this. In the old days, people drove their cattle to market riding horses. I heard about them cow punchers. In fact, I got some old cow puncher gear right here. They use these to punch the cows. But what I can't figure out is how they rode horses with them on. However it was, those were cows, and Max are a lot bigger than cows, and a lot meaner. Yeah, but this time we got 400 horses under the hood to do the job. What are you worrying about? I'm worried about their big tusks. Max have also got big ears. They'll move. Well, somehow I think we'll need more help than that. <laughs> no. <laughs> Put me down, Hermes. What? You mean, him? Yeah, him. Let's get rolling. Make room for me! Huh? I'm coming. Why are you coming, Toulouse? The Council felt it vital that I should represent them in the field during this crisis of public safety to ensure cost controls are observed. Uh-huh. Can you handle a car? Without any compunction whatsoever. All right, then drive that one behind you. I guess we need all the help we can get. I entirely agree. I'm here to help. Oh. 
Uh, sorry. I'll put that car on my bill to the council. Ride with Mustafa. Mac tracks. Yeah, they're heading toward the settlements. Let's get rolling. Them's a lot of Max down there. More than I've ever seen together. They seem peaceful enough now. Of course they do. They're eating all our crops. What now, Tenrek? Okay, we'll surround them just like this. Then we'll bunch them up together and move them all out. It's working! Kerbo said we should try a magic chant the cowboys used on the cows. Oh yeah? What's that? It goes like this. Look who's doing us a big favor, rounding up the Max. Sure gonna make our job a lot easier. Now we got Jack where we want him? Yeah, but I get the first chunk out of his carcass. We'll cut him off at the pass. Saddle up. What's out there, Hermes? If Hermes starts talking, I'm gone. But he is talking, Hannah. The trick is to know what he's saying. <laughs> Heads up, everyone. We got trouble up ahead. Here they come. It almost makes me ashamed this will be so easy. Yeah, me too. Almost. Well, I'm just completely torn up about it inside myself. But I'll live. And they won't. Hey, Hammer! We taking prisoners? Prisoners? What's that? <laughs> <laughs> We're burning daylight, and there's dirty work to do, boys. Those poachers are gonna spook the herd if they keep up that racket. Well, I don't like it either. Couldn't we have talked with them? Poachers, shoot first, talk later. Oh, no! Making friends? Yeah, lots. Do you think the old guy's finished? For now. At least he's headed in the right direction. Shh, he'll hear you. What? You're lying. I assure you, my governor, I'm not. That's impossible. Jack moved the Max? But how? I don't know how he did it. But the settlements are out of danger. No, I cannot let Tenrek succeed. Captain Nock? Yes, Governor. Arm the guard. We march tonight. They 
need water, Kurgo. Head them toward the river. I'm trying, Jack, but this old guy's got a mind of his own. He smells the river. Keep them together. We'll push the herd to Verrazano's point tomorrow. Drop down over the Bulgar Mountains into this valley. It's almost perfect. Even the poachers won't go back that far. Then what's worrying you, Jack? Our trail will pass dangerously close to Ida, a big mining town. Uh-oh. Anything goes haywire, or they're gonna end up hamburger. So we'll tell them to clear out. Miners don't leave their claims. We'll just have to be wide awake. Everybody get some shut-eye. How about some dessert first? What you got? Candied cactus. Ally. Kurgo. Pass. We'll attack at midnight. We'll whack them all in their sleep. Yeah, we'll whack them good. That's enough, Hammer. Sharnhorst, I've skinned plenty of things bigger than you out here. What do you want? What you want? Let's make a deal. The last deal we made with you left us with the short end of the stick. Just hear me out. You see, if a herd of crazed dinosaurs just happened to stampede through that mining town, a lot of people would be hurt, and a lot of people would be angry. And Jack Tenrick would be blamed for it and ruined for life. Tenrick's having a tough enough time moving that herd with his vehicles. What makes you think we'll do any better? Dynamite. Nice. If Tenrek manages to survive, I'll try him for murder. My guards will eliminate the Max. You'll get all the ivory. I'll be a hero. And we'll both be rid of Tenrek. Sounds good to me. In fact, this should be a real blast. Giving him as bad a headache as I've got. Better to have a headache than to be made into piano keys and billiard balls. I agree, but how much longer does this go on? Hey, Bonehead, what you got against Cadillacs? Back off. That's telling him. <sighs> no matter what I'd read in them old books about cowpunchers, I'd hate to do this for a living. Me too. This is a real drag. Yes, but I was just uh, thinking about the agricultural advantage taming these beasts would bring to uh, the settlements. Do us all a favor, don't think. Sure glad we don't live in Ida. That town's gonna be flattened. Come on, Jack, come and get it. Yeah. Welcome to the Destruction Zone. Good shooting, Brother Terhoon. Nothing will panic a herd of dinosaurs like a nice little avalanche. <laughs> and maybe we'll nail Tenric at the same time. This rock's for you, Jack. Is that how you spell Jack? Yeah. J-A-K, Jack. Hmm. I thought there were two K's. Do you think Jack's gonna check the spelling after this falls on him? Just hook up the line, Mikla, okay? Okay, okay, I just thought there were two K's. I can't take much more of this. How much further, Jack? There it is. That's Verrazano's point and the pass we want. Right now, any pass will do. Keep coming. Keep coming. 
is nearly in range. Okay, Jack, ready for a little smoke in your eyes? Ready to blow, Hammer. Good. They're almost here. All right, Jack. Round two! Slow him down. The herd's headed for Ida. Yahoo! You're not leading them enough. I am so. Well, he ain't slowing down any. Take the wheel. Must be under the rocks. No kidding, Toulouse. But where? Well, this arm looks kind of familiar. <clears throat> oh, are we having fun yet? got a new home, and it's beautiful. Now, let me patch you up. You're a mess. But I must admit, you do bring new meaning to the term old blood. Ow! Well, I learned one thing. Cadillacs and dinosaurs don't mix. Got me a souvenir of the drive. So did I. Let's hang this in the garage. The council thanks you, Tenric, for uh, saving the settlements and... Uh, for maintaining the balance of life. I didn't think it could be done. What was that all about? Oh, he was just saying goodbye. Sounded a lot like thanks to me. versus the Intergalactic Backpack. Rebel heroes from the planet Vax stretch them and use their back powers to stop Backman's nasty plans. Grappler grabs, Claudius crushes, and Humongor's wide. Back at you, crater face. Those guys are getting on my nerves. Backman and the Intergalactic Backpack, each sold separately from Cat Toys. New Nickelodeon Zog Logs. Amazing! Building pieces that stick together with just water. Stick it, stick it. Zog it. New Zog Logs Workshop. Well, you never saw a saw like a Zog Log saw. Zog it. With the real power shaper, you can saw a skyscraper. Zog it. Amazing! You can saw around the clock. Even saw a mohawk. 
socket. With these machines, you can stop zillions of things. New Nickelodeon Zoglogs Workshop. Refill back, sold separately, batteries not included. The alien invasion has begun. Animorphs transformed. The evil aliens led by Visser 3 are here. But we can change too, into any animal we touch. And when Heroic Axe changes into a scorpion, Visser 3 is gonna get stung. Each sold separately. Transformers! <laughs> So last time you were playing Girl Talk, the 3D game with Truth or Dare, and it was so hilarious. Julie had told she'd ever kiss the boy. We were laughing like crazy. Cause we thought she was next to me. She had to eat a pig of sandwich. Yeah. So me and Jenna had to do a three-legged race. We went nuts. In the end, I won and got to pick fantasy card. I couldn't Girl Talk, the game of Truth or Dare you can't stop talking about. From the Girl Talk line of games and books. I read the card and said the next person who calls him was your future husband. Last question. What is one plus one plus one? Three? Not this time. The answer is one. The new Super Soaker XP85 Triple Shot. The one and only Super Soaker that fires one, two, three, three, the water at once. Rotating nozzles let you hit the target to the left, to the right, to the middle, and everything in between. Any questions? Hey, Sarge, what's three times three? That's great. The new Lively Super Soaker XP85 Triple Shot. Well, it's better. Grandma. Hey, Grandma, want to play a game? Let's play Brain Bash. Two touch three. Brain Bash, touch the five-in-one electronic voice four, command two. game. Six minus four, touch three. That plus makes one, you one, think two, fast. Two, three, seven minus five, zero, Act plus fast, zero, one, touch or three, you'll get bashed. Six, touch three, plus two, I'm going to be two, so one, two, baby. Three, seven, five, five. Next game. Ah! You snooze, you lose. Brain Bash from Tiger. If you've got the brains, we've got the bash. Batteries not included. Now, you can have your own special Captain Planet adventure with your favorite planeteers. There's Wheeler, who has the power of fire, and the daring Linka with the power of wind. You can even use the planeteer's eco-cycle. And your own power rings will let you call Captain Planet. Bring him to the rescue and save the Earth. Captain Planet and the Planeteers, now available at Kmart. From the hit movie, it's Casper! Yes! With a ghostly scream. Casper and the ghostly trio haunt your house. <laughs> Are we scary or what? Stretch stretches. Fatso loses his lunch. And Stinky stinks. Ew! But can he do this? They're kooky. They're spooky. They've got a ghostly glow. Sounds great! Who's that? Casper and the ghostly trio. Frightfully fun. Each sold separately. Burning up the road, more than the usual RC. Sure, it's fast, with rechargeable 6V jet turbo speed, but this truck's back in more than horsepower. Firepower's also the fastest secret weapon on wheels. Raised a hidden radio-controlled cannon, now it's an RC mobile attack vehicle. When you're driving with firepower, you call the shots. New firepower, battery pack required, sold separately. Tyco RC, maximum heat. Night falls, adventure calls. We are gargoyles, we live, we soar, we fight. We are gargoyles, protectors of the night. When darkness falls, evil tribes and stone cold statues come alive. Goliath, Brooklyn, Lexington, we are gargoyles. Evil Sanatos, deadly trouble, wants to smash us all to rubble, but night brings life. We are gargoyles, we race, we roar, we ride. When gargoyles come alive, evil can survive. We are gargoyles. It's so separately. Crazy Charlie was on the loose, but so was a maniac. Lego maniac! <laughs> crazy Charlie was crazy to think he'd escape a Lego maniac. The Lego System Town Rescue Collection, each set sold separately, maniac not included. From the Crypt Keeper. <laughs> oh, hello, Fright fans. I've been feeling a little burned out lately, so I'm taking a last minute vacation. I want to go someplace that's relaxed and scare free. But wait, where? where? Ah, here's a place with fond memories. Shriekport, Rhode Island. 
just the place for a little R&R. &R. Ah. Rest and rigor mortis, that is. <laughs> I could go back to New York City. I hear they're in the middle of another slime wave. Say, hey, here's one of my favorites. You sicken me, National Park. Or maybe a nice trip to Carl's Bat. Hey! Carl's Bat Cavern. I could wing them up for reservations. A jungle holiday. A deep sea adventure. I can't decide. Cab's here. All right, all right. While I'm making my chilling choice, let's go someplace really scary. This week's terror tale. It's a little gem of ghastliness, I call. While the cat's away. The P11 Baja Sand Slice. The most extreme ultimate speed machine. Awesome. Better than awesome. Fearsome. You think Dad would ever buy us one, Stu? Right, Dwight. And I've got seven ninjas in my back pocket. We could at least ask them. Heck, maybe he's in a good mood. <laughs> ah. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I'll have to think about this. French cuisine is so rich. Yes, you are. Very, very. <laughs> that is, uh, <coughs> I mean, uh, a person of your stature deserves the richest of everything, Mrs. Crumb. <laughs> and this travel package is rather expensive. Well, you can't put a price on memories, Mrs. Crumb. <laughs> I put a price on everything, Mr. Hancock. Uh, but, uh, Mrs. Crumb, I, I'm sure I can. Good day. Oh. Hey, Dad. How's business? Things get any slower, I'm going to ask you guys for an allowance. <sighs> Handcut travel. <laughs> yes! We have many attractive packages. Uh, to, to Pennsylvania, yes. We, uh, to Transylvania? Well, well I'm, uh, I'm sure I can put some sort of package together, yes. Mm-hmm. Ma, 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 money's no object? <laughs> well then, certainly. <laughs> First class all the way. I'll arrange everything. Uh, Mr. T. Charles Kingman, 711 Woods Road. Later, Dad. Will that be cash? Oh, fine. He was getting in a good mood, Stu. Why didn't you ask him about the bike? Because we're going to get the bike compliments of T. Charles Kingman. Huh? Hey! Try and keep up with the program, little bro. Jerk! Wait for me! <laughs> money, 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 money. Money, 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 money. It's almost as simple as you are. Kingman's rich and he's leaving town. All we gotta do is sneak into his place, grab something valuable, and the sand slicer is ours. Vroom, vroom! But Stu? Hey, you ain't scared, are ya? Nah, it's just, well, that's stealing. Picture if you will. The destructive power of the P-11 Baja sand slicer at your command. Hasta la vista, baby. When does Kingman's plane leave? Kingman's gotta be gone by now. Are you sure this guy's a millionaire? Yeah, sure. The kind that don't waste money on house repairs. Come on. I don't like this, Stu. What if somebody's home? So we knock first.
there isn't enough in here to trade in on a tricycle, Stu. You don't know that yet. Come on. I've read about crazy old guys like King Man. They live like they're poor, but when they die, someone finds millions of dollars stashed away in some hiding place. I can imagine what else is stashed around here. You and your imagination. Ah! Stu! Stu! Yeah! Get off, dork! The guy in the painting, Stu! It, it moved like he was trying to kill me! I'm gonna kill you if you don't chill out, Dwight. You're afraid of your own shadow. And every time you get freaked out about something, you turn into a woodpecker. I can't help it. What is your problem? This place is haunted, Stu. Let's forget the bike and get out of here. Forget my P11 sand slicer? I'd rather die. Don't say that, Stu. There's got to be something worth stealing. Start looking. For what? I don't know. All these libraries have secret panels that open up when you move a candle or something. like you found the secret hiding place. No, Stu, don't. I think I saw something moving in there. Get real, Dwight. What could be in... Stu! 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 Go! 
walking around if he didn't have something real valuable to protect. Listen, Stu, maybe it's just me, but that sure looked like a <gasps> werewolf. There's no such thing as werewolves, Dwight. Not according to me, me. Yeah! <laughs> Listen, Stu, I've been thinking about that dirt bike. Yeah, well, quit thinking, because soon you'll be... Vroom! <sighs> what is this thing? It's pretty lumpy. <gasps> and I owe you one, bro. Uh-oh. Thank you. 
I think we lost them. Stu? Stu? Don't tell me you lost me! Stu! Dwight? Dwight? Great. No brother, and no banners. All this for a P11 Baja sand slicer. I promise if I ever get out of this, I'll ride my crummy old bicycle until I'm 80. Even better, I'll walk till I'm 80. Vroom, 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 vroom. Phew, that's a relief. <laughs> hey, wait a sec. Ha! Take more than a little old spider to scare me. <laughs> no more spitballs in history class. No more quarters in the arcade. I'll study 30 hours a day. Whoa! There's a way. All right! This time, check it out first. It's safe. At last, no surprises. And no way out! <laughs> What's so funny? This is it. This is where the treasure's buried. Boy, that was easy. Watch it, dork. We're stuck in here, Stu. Even if we could get out of here, a lot of good a P11 sand slicer is gonna do when you're inside a werewolf. Or maybe you'll just be riding that night if one of those <laughs> vampires gets you. <laughs> Vroom! Sand slicer? Here we... A comic book! <gasps> we did all this for a comic book? It's issue number one. Issue number one? Well, that's the primo! I'd hate to go through this for issue number two! That's us, Stu! In this room! But how? We've been set up! Come on, Dwight! We didn't see no zombies! <laughs> yeah! I don't care! You can keep the treasure! Keep the sand slicer! Just let us out of here! Go! Shaw gave me a warm welcome home. Yuck! Poor Stu and Dwight. I'll bet they need a vacation. I guess they learned that stealing can have grave consequences. But don't worry. I'm sure their criminal plans have been laid to rest. <laughs> Say, Ghoul Watchers, wanna see the slides from my trip? No! no! Join us next week, boils and gargoyles, for another fear fest. <laughs> Doors?
Stretch Armstrong, I will destroy you. Introducing Batman, Stretch Armstrong's arch enemy. Use the super sucking back bump to turn him into a mutating monster. Then stretch him to villainous proportions. He stays that way until you press his cybernetic button. But will this be the end of Stretch Armstrong? Stay tuned. Oh. Batman, Stretch Armstrong's arch enemy from Cap Toys. Well. If your kid loves to doodle like most girls and boys, get Magna Doodle, the world's favorite drawing toy. Why it's the favorite, we'll just have to guess. Could it be there's no paper, no mess? Perhaps it's because after a doodle or two, your kids can undoodle and do something new. Could it be the accessories, the stamps, every one, the stencils, colors? Please tell me someone. Excuse me, sir. It's because it's fun. It's fun. What a bright little boy. That's why Magna Doodle's the world's favorite drawing toy. Gruesome. <coughs> Repulsive. <coughs> Hideous. <coughs> Disgusting. <coughs> Obnoxious. <coughs> Revolting. <coughs> Wretched. <coughs> Sickening. <coughs> blurp balls. They make you want to blurp. Do the chicken limbo. Chicken limbo's the one. Big fun. Spin the spinner. Go under the bar without bobbing the chicken. But if you do, <laughs> chicken limbo's the one. Big fun. Chicken limbo. Hey guys, look, it's Tammy's diary. Cool. My dear diary stores tons of really private stuff. What's locked? Only my secret code unlocks it. Maybe my name's a code. In your dreams. <laughs> it has 14 different functions like horoscope, calculator. It even keeps my shopping list, guys' numbers, and loads more. I know who she likes. No contest. She has a crush on me. <laughs> right, huge crush. Oh. Dear Diary Electronic Organizer from Tiger. What's round? Doodledome's a drawing toy that lets you stop the line, then start it again somewhere else. Even erase just part of your picture. I draw some flowers on a tree. My pumpkin looks a lot like me. Round and round you go. It's so amazing. Doodledome. Doodledome, the first drawing toy that lets you draw in the round. From Tycho. These are the tales of the skeleton warriors. is the better weapon? The hunter newly pledged to the fight, or the heart rededicated to the cause? When the stakes are high enough, there can be no draw. Lightweight and his miserable siblings destroyed by mountain installation dagger. And they very nearly obliterated my half of the crystal. It's become dangerously unstable. Not to worry, my liege. Why, I bet my bones at old Cyborg setting it right this very minute. The power containment grid is failing. Increase the iron pulse 
registration rates at 9176. What do we do if this doesn't work? Well, we can either double the plasma flow or run for our lives. The Legion of Light could have been some use by leading me to their half of the crystal. But no, they have to be heroes. It's just like them to keep fighting instead of giving up like any marginally intelligent human would do. The uh, fools! Uh, oh, no! oh, they've got more luck than brains, I do. Well, Gagger, their luck's run out. They defied me for too long, and my patience is at an end. That's... that's all I can afford this month. Now, now, let's not be stingy. Did you know that ungenerous people tend to be accident-prone? <laughs> oh, and glass is so hard to replace these days. Think it over. We'll chat tomorrow. <laughs> Don't worry, lads. He'll cough up the rest. Better this protection loot lines our pockets than Baron Darks. <laughs> You hollow-headed idiot! That explosion came from inside the castle! It's Cyborn's lab! The crystal! If anything's happened to it... Dagger! Track down Oracula! Bring him to me! Oracula, sire? But he's no scientist! I know that! Look, Dagger, it's like this. I need to get rid of the Legion of Light once and for all. How oh, just like fleas, they are most annoying. And I intend to eliminate those royal rats through their weakest link. Through Grimskull? No, through their father. <laughs> Crystal nearly blew us into Simeana. My crystal! It's in one piece for now. <sighs> My lord, you must appreciate the gravity of this situation. The crystal is profoundly unstable. I don't see your point. Cyborn, you've got to find a way to stabilize that thing. I cannot afford to lose my half of the crystal. Dark's crystal? It's more unstable than we dreamed. We have to mount a full-scale assault and secure it now. With the crystal exploding like that? No, it's too risky. You could lose everyone. And if I wait? If Dark's crystal blows apart, it could take the whole world with it. Come on, we have to get back to base camp. As you wish, Lester. My first inclination was for an all-out assault, but reason soon prevailed. I'll lead a small recon team and scout it out first. Yes. Oh, that's a good idea. I think your father would have been proud of that decision. I still can't understand a word he's saying. Your lack of understanding is of monumental unimportance. The only important thing is that those on the other end understand and obey. For then we shall see the end of Prince Lightstar and the Legion of Light. Remember, we're going to Castle Lightstar to scout it out, not start a laser battle. For the Legion of Light! Lightstar, wait! Come to the communications tent and hurry! I was doing a routine scan when I picked up this, from the Oraculan Divide. You must have fed in the wrong clearance code. You know the Armada went down over the Shanian Sea. I've checked and rechecked. There's no mistake. It, it's the Royal Frequency. Father? It can't be. 
The Oraculan Divide is 12 hours away from the Shinian Sea. All our searches, all our scanning. We've never picked up a thing out over the sea. But what if... Justin, your father's armada went down over the Shinian Sea. This must be a solar echo or something. You know father's final mission was extremely sensitive. Maybe we were supposed to think he was heading for the Shinian Sea. Is it possible? Have we been looking for my brother in the wrong place this entire time? If there's a chance that father's alive, I'm going to find him and bring him back. And nothing is going to stop me. As you can see, everything is now perfectly normal. The latent energy within that crystal is enormous and complex. But we've gotten its measure. <laughs> it's cover! Don't you blow! I'm getting so tired of this. Cyborg, I'd appreciate it if next time you check your results before sending for me. <laughs> that makes two of us. Look. Look at the level of this destruction. Yes. Exhilarating, isn't it? Here we go again. Perhaps we should watch from further away. It's... it's magnificent. This is amazing! I've always had a way with animals. That's not what I mean. Look at this beast! Yes, a fine, skeletonized animal. That was converted without your assistance. You didn't lay a hand on him. The direct energy from the crystal did it. All by itself. Oh, the wonder of it! Cyborg, if we could harness that energy, I wouldn't need to convert people one at a time. Today, this steed. Tomorrow, the world. No question about it. Those signals are coming from the Armada's auto distress beacons. But I'm not picking up any pulse indicators. Nothing. We found them, all right. But it's over, Justin. But there's a chance you can't read a weakened pulse indicator at this range, right? Well, I suppose. I... If there's a chance, any chance at all that our father is alive, no matter how slim that chance may be, I have to take it. Justin. Wait. We're coming with you. But the recon team, they're awaiting your orders. They'll have to hurry. It's nearly dawn. I'm putting you in charge of the team. I have to find my father. Both must be served. As you wish, sire. I'll leave immediately. Justin, just then, you reminded me of your father. There are only a few final adjustments. And then this crystal cannon will allow you to induce the skeletal transformation at a distance. I'll no longer have to sully my hands, Cyborg. Yeah. <laughs> Why would Father have come here? The Iraculans have been our enemies for centuries. Can you get a fix on the signal? Hmm. I can't pinpoint it exactly. But if we follow these coordinates... Look out! Is it ready, Cyborg? We are ready for a test blast. Allow me to present our volunteers. <laughs> now that's a bloke to stay friendly with. So, 
You motley miscreants thought you could cheat Baron Dark, did you? However, I admire your goal, so I'll give you a choice. Join my little band of smiling skeletons or face my unrelenting and painful wrath. Oh, we'll join. Magnificent! We'll create an army that will trample the world! Base, this is Guardian. Ready our best soldiers for our most dangerous mission. We have to take out that gun! Justin, don't you recognize me? Duke Edens? <sighs> You've come at last. I thought I'd spend my life in this wretched pit. What's happened? Duke Edens? Duke Edens, I don't believe it. <laughs> Quickly, those monsters have picked up our scent. This way! Faster! Faster! There's where the Armada went down. We were traveling to the Shinean Sea when we received word that the Oraculans wanted a treaty. They've never wanted peace. So we discovered. The message was a lie. We flew right into an ambush. Why didn't you send out a distress signal? Oh, we tried, lad. But someone had sabotaged everything on the Armada. Sabotage? But who could have... Probably the same man who had lied to us about the treaty. Baron, Baron Dark. Dark. The Oraculans swarmed your father's ship before his guards could raise their weapons. My craft went down just west of here. By the time I fought my way here, there was no one left. Justin, I, I want to believe father's still alive as much as you do, but... I'm not picking up a distress signal. <laughs> Those monsters stripped the wreckage clean. If a signal brought you here, it wasn't for me. I'll wager this is more of Baron Dark's nasty work. I salvaged this from the King's Craft, a recording from the Armada's central system. Father? Royal Log, entry 855. Most of the Royal Party have gone. We've taken cover in this clearing. If the rescue ship doesn't arrive, then this may be my last entry. If it is, if I don't survive, then this message is for my children. There's so much I want to tell all of you. Jennifer, I know there have been times when your mother was more needed than I. Fate was not kind to take her from us. But your spirit and fire are hers. You've grown into such a fine young lady. And Joshua, I know the ambition that burns within you. But you have in your heart the courage and goodness to help Justin. I will, Father. I promise. Justin, you are my firstborn. You shall be king. But remember, to rule is an obligation and an honor. If you keep that truth in your heart, then you shall be a king among kings, and a son that shall forever make his father the proudest man in the world. Work together. Let each of you contribute your gifts for our people and for each other. I love you all.
And I love you, Father. to move out as soon as our wounded are safe as soon as we resupply we'll recapture our world from the monsters who would control it and restore the kingdom that was left to us by our father for our father The Oracular Divide? Lightstar is alive? No! Oh yes, dear Baron. Oh yes. Hmm. Perhaps 
perhaps both sides are newly equipped for the next engagement. Few things are as strong as evil, but is anything as strong as love? Hello, Mrs. Smith. Randy, you're getting so tall. Isn't he getting tall? Want to see my Gatcoid, Mrs. Smith? Oh, it's cute. Gatcoid. Each comes with its own Gak. Create your own monsters and make them come alive. And new Gak colors never seen before. Gatcoid. Each Nickelodeon Gatcoid figure comes with two ounces of Gak. New four-ounce colors coming soon. Each sold separately from Mattel. For moon launch. Mega, Mega Rig. Rig Space Shuttle, the truck that transforms into a complete space shuttle launch site. Three, two, one, blast off! Everything you need for a voyage to the moon. Launch the satellite. Explore with the moon rover. Eject the cockpit. Alert emergency vehicles. Chopper rescue. Save the day. New Mega Rig Space Shuttle, a complete space mission in one. Hot Wheels leading the way! The evil alien, M. Grocer. Only Colonel Chance can save the Earth from enslavement. Only Laser Wars has advanced laser technology that shakes warriors till they fall. Explodes robots. Robot destroyed. Blows up vehicles. Awesome. Reassembly complete. You fire, you hit, hit. They scream, they fall. You fire, you hit, you destroy them all. Fight the laser wars. Laser Wars with advanced laser technology to stun or destroy. Warriors, robots, and vehicles sold separately. At Magic the Gathering's research facility, experts test combat strategies using subjects selected from the general public. Geez! Where do you get these kids? Play my card, you moron! I'm unblockable! What are you waiting for? An invitation? <laughs> Magic the Gathering, the trading card game. You ready to feel the pain? Cat's mission log. Entry one, Jacob Milo speaking. We are in the middle of a war, a war mankind is not even aware of. For several months, I've been assembling a covert action team to fight the Daemonite threat, and our roster is nearly complete. Void has located our final member, but the Daemonites have interfered with our recruiting efforts before. I pray the team gets to them in time. Reno Bryce Computing. You are Reno Bryce. Who are you clowns? Mr. Bryce, you're an artist with a blade. Not only that, ha! I also happen to be a black belt. Get him! All agents, he's on the run. We must contain him in the building. 
Who are those guys? What do they want? And do I really want to stick around and find out? Step on it, Grifter. We may already be too late. Don't blow a fuse, Spartan. This Reno Bryce is causing us far too much trouble. It'll be worse trouble if we don't get to him in time, Zealot. What do those wackos want with me? This is getting weirder by the second. Wait! Stop him! Do not rely on that contraption, Grifter. Remember your training in the Caribum art of war. And just remember who saved your neck the last time we went up against these guys. Maul, come on! We're here! Oh, just when I was getting comfortable. Whoa! They're everywhere! Hey, wait! We're the good guys! <gasps> Maul, they're Daemonites! No kidding! Too late. The Daemonites are after him. Hey, not to worry. We can handle that space trash. Oh, man. <gasps> They're Daemonites. Every one of them. You can't trust nobody these days. I'll take them. Get real, Zealot. You don't stand a chance without me. Just don't get in my way, Grifter. There's nowhere you can hide from us. Now, Reno Bryce, prepare to become one of us. Not so fast, Damonite. Come on. We're clearing out of here. Are you out of your mind? Maul, think you can handle that thing? It's just my size. I'm large and in charge. He shoots. He scores! said we were human. Come on, we're clearing out of here. Hit it, Richter. They're getting away! Let them. I managed to tag our little friend, Mr. Bryce. Well, Void? Is he the one? Yes, he has the gift. Just who are you, lady? We call her Void. She's a living computer. I've seen every kind of computer on the planet, but nothing like that. She's not from this planet, Mr. Bryce. Uh-huh, sure. Now, do you mind telling me what's going on? Name's Jacob Marlowe. You're at the headquarters of my company, Halo Enterprises. I didn't know you were in the business of kidnapping. Try saving your scrawny hide, Jack. 
Whether you like it or not, Reno, you're in the middle of a war. A war as old as mankind. 10,000 years ago, while we were still scratching crude paintings on cave walls, two alien starships crashed here on Earth. One ship contained the last of the Daemonites, an evil race who once ruled the galaxy. The other ship contained a group of Caribbean, noble warriors who defeated the Daemonites and brought peace to the galaxy. The Caribbean managed to assimilate into the human race. Well, the Daemonites began their war of covert conquest. Over the centuries, the Caribbean lost contact with their living computer, Void. I discovered her two years ago. She told me about the threat the Daemonites posed, both to our world and the entire universe. I immediately started assembling the Caribbean and their descendants into a covert action team, the Wildcats. Cute story, Mr. Marlowe, but I have to get back to the real world now. Wait! Hey! Still haven't figured it out yet, huh? You are a descendant of the Caribbean, who crashed here thousands of years ago. You are a genetic crossbreed, one of the gifted few with Caribbean power. Get real, lady. I'm no space freak. The time has come to unlock your power, Reno Bryce and fulfill your destiny. What? What have you done to me? Hey, at least you didn't turn king size like I did. He looks pretty sharp, huh, babe? Cool costume, too. I've had it with this! Hey, the boy's a regular war blade. You've made me into a freak! Watch it with those things. If you will calm yourself, you can control your power with your mind. Just leave me alone! I've had enough science fiction for one day! Stop him! You can't force someone to be a wildcat, Grifter. Stinking coward. He lacks our carabin fighting instinct. You and I have been in this war for thousands of years, Zealot. It's too much for someone like him to comprehend. Yeah. When you guys came after Voodoo and me, we ran for cover, too. Still, I'm not sure it was a good idea to let him walk out on us. Maybe he'll come back for his... Hey, what's this? Something he was carrying. But what? If I didn't know better, I'd say it was trying to get at you, Void. Let's get this thing to the tech lab on the double. I want to know what it is. Lord Hellsbond, Reno Bryce has left Halo Enterprises, and the teleportation receiver is still there. Jacob Marlowe is a bigger fool than I thought. Shall I instruct our operatives to apprehend him? Of course. I want Reno Bryce, and this time I shall have him. <laughs> I can't believe I got away from those weirdos with my skin intact. My hands are okay again. At least that's something. Now I have to find some place to hide. Didn't you hear me the first time, Reno? There's nowhere for you to hide. You! Who are you? We are your masters. No! Get him. We Daemonites can't survive in your atmosphere. We need host bodies. What are you doing to me? It's a marker, Mr. Bryce. It creates a point of entry into your physical form. Don't be afraid, human. All I want is your body. Ah! We, we must, must return, return to Lord, Lord Hell's spot at once. Some sort of transmitter. Definitely of Daemonite design. I knew it! That creep Bryce planted a bug in our headquarters! He could have been working for the Daemonites all along. Sure. 
That's why he panicked and ran away. Hey, when you've been fighting the Daemonites as long as me and Zealot have, you don't trust anyone. I say we destroy the infernal thing before it's too late. No, this could be the key to Hellspont's latest plot, and I want to know what it is. Something's happened. What is it, Void? The Daemonites have Reno Bryce. Can you get a fix on him? Reno Bryce is there. They took him north, way north. Hellspawn must be hiding there. We will have to go after him. And risk our necks for that two-timing coward? No way! Grifter, you know I can tell who's right and who's not, and Reno's okay. He has no taste for a fight. He'll never join us. Even if he won't, we can't just let Hellspont get his claws on him. Void, port us up there, now. Are you out of your mind? I won't allow it. Come back here. I forbid you to do this. Who's the boss of this outfit anyway? Void did it. I wish I was wearing thermal underwear. All right, cats. Let's get wild. I think you knocked a little too hard, Maul. This does not bode well. Where are they? Maybe they all went someplace warm. Does the phrase walking into a trap mean anything to you? Precisely, wild cats. <laughs> fell right into that one. Welcome, Wildcats. <laughs> this will be the end of the Caribbean resistance on Earth. That will never be more than a dream for you, Hellspont. I wish I could stay to savor this moment, but I must prepare to take possession of your computer void on board the Behemoth. How's he gonna get his claws on void? We may not be around long enough to find out. Oh, man. This is not going to be pleasant. <sighs> can't anyone break these cables? Even I can't. And I'm supposed to be the strongest. If I could just get to my sword. <sighs> I still cannot establish this transmitter's purpose, Marlo. What's going on up there? I have lost contact with them. I fear they are in great danger. Release the prisoner. We'll store his body here with the others. Not while this girl's around! <laughs> oh, I wish I was more of a fighter like the others. You will not escape me, Wildcat. Your carabin powers are no match for Daemonite might. Oh, yeah? Get ready to see just how special my power is. Carabins come unhandy! You... you freed me! Yeah, but the others need our help. Well, are you with us or not? I didn't ask to be part of this fight. But now I'm in it, and I'm gonna fight to win. All right! I knew you were one of us. Come on, Voodoo. It's blade time. There must be a way out of this. Yeah, before Hellspawn gets void. I'm sure it must have something to do with that device at our headquarters. Ah! I knew Reno Bryce was no good. That double crosser sold us out. Get ready to rock! More blades in the house. <laughs> Sweetness. I told you he was a cool guy. Have you freed a slash, Spartan? Yes! How come that thing didn't get you? Perhaps because I'm a cyborg. Foul oh, creature. Be gone! You're messing with my friends, maggots. 
We've got to stop Hellspawn before he gets Void. Void? How can he get to her? Thanks to some gizmo you snuck into our headquarters, pal. That's enough, Grifter. He saved our lives. Maybe. But I still don't trust him in a fight. He's all thumbs. You let me at those Daemonites and I'll show you just how well I can use these things, mister. Looks like we missed the behemoth. We've got to follow them somehow. Let's use that. Yeah, but does anybody have a pilot's license? Stand back and watch me work. You sure you can fly this thing? I flew everything from Cessnas to Choppers back in my smuggling days. This'll be a joyride. More or less. You said you were a cyborg, Spartan. But I thought you were an alien. I'm both. A Daemonite assassin squad nearly got me. Marlowe's tech people transferred his brain to a cybernetic body. It was the only way to save him. I have a fix on the behemoth. It's dead ahead. You'd better shrink down, Maul. Oh, but I hate being small. Intruder alert! It's the Wildcats! Will I never be rid of those accursed Cherubim? Never, Hellspont. And that is a promise. Don't be so sure, Wildcats. I've already homed in on your headquarters with this teleporter. Thanks to the transmitter you were carrying, Jack. With it, I can send anything anywhere. Or bring anything to me. Starting with your precious void. It is a relayer for a teleportation device. What? We must destroy it at once. Void! Void! Now I can drain your supercomputer of its data. All the secrets of the Carabin's technology shall be mine. With such knowledge, we Daemonites will rule the universe once more. Of course, the data drain will destroy your computer in the process. Not while the Wildcats are here, Hellspont. <laughs> Stand my power for long, wild cats! We can't just let him destroy Void! We're not going to. Maul, start growing. What are you doing? He's getting bigger, and he'll tear this ship apart unless you release Void. You heard the man. Release her! Wretched freak! I will destroy you! When he gets bigger, he gets madder, Hellspont. No! You did it! Now do you believe I'm on your side? Yeah, and I believe that thing's gonna blow in about five seconds. Void, get us out of here, now! Let me give you some advice, Hellspont. When a 30-foot guy tells you to do something, you better do it! Let's go! Cursed Wildcats! This is but a setback! I have waited thousands of years to conquer this planet. I can be patient a little longer. Where have you been? You had me nearly scared out of my wits. Sorry, sir. We had to rescue Void and destroy Hellspont's teleporter. You mean you actually took on Hellspont? After he nearly creamed us. And it looks like we've got a new member. Kid, I was wrong about you. Welcome to the Wildcats. Well, it's about time you guys had a real fighter on the team. Excuse me? But when it comes to battle, I'm the ultimate weapon. You want to arm wrestle for that title? All right, you two. 
Save it for the Daemonites. Today, we showed Hellspawn that we can hurt him because we're finally a team. So let's start acting like a team. Uh, Grifter. Thanks for giving me my name. Hey, anytime, Warblade. And thanks for saving our necks. From now on, we all stick together. Look at this, look at that. Oh, silly ways, cat dog can act. New Bullet Bones cat dog. Two heads are more than one. You can stretch them bones in lots of funny ways. Then you see that's how they stay. Two best friends and one cat dog. Cat dog is twice the fun. Stretch them out. What a sound. Tug them, twist them all around. Two best friends and one cat dog. Cat dog is twice the fun. New Nickelodeon Bullet Bones cat dog plus from Mattel. I'll give you trouble, a six. Fun's a poppin', trouble's poppin', trying to win the race. Trouble's poppin', bubbles poppin', poppin' every place. Kids are poppin', fun's a poppin', mom's a trouble too. Grandma's poppin', grandpa's poppin', hoppin' over you. Yo, you gotta get to know them. Yo, Frisco! Bummer! Yo, Shaggy! They're cool to collect, cause their numbers keep them growing. Yo, Slammers! There's only oh. one original. Tip me, Slammers! Merry Christmas! Introducing Holiday Silly Slammers. No, from Gibson. Tip me, Slammers! I got magic cup here. Look what I do. I draw a great dog, and now I have two. I draw and I doodle, make copies, you see. Great copies I keep just. Magic Copier and Travel Magic Copier, each sold separately. Batteries not included. From Tyco. Until something happens. A crime or something. Hello! I mean, we've been at this for hours. What if nothing happens? We're superheroes. Something always happens. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> School bell's giving me a headache. Oh, let's get out of here. Not so fast, naughty spawn. I say to you, stop your evil ways. You face the tick. <laughs> <laughs> Big blue jerk. He's going to ruin everything. Look, you can play uh, pajama police all you want, but we run this town, bug boy. <laughs> No one likes to be laughed at, friend. 
Zipanek. Show him your stuff. Hey! Look at this! Unsightly. <laughs> That's the way you want it, huh? Oh. Okay. 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 I, uh, uh, who are you? I'm the, uh, sidekick. Okay. Boyles, kick him to the side. Now look what you made me do. Not so funny, is it? Yeah. God, my melon! I don't think we're past the point of discussion. American made? Oh, man. Help! Are you all right? Yes. Thank you. Ah, American made. Good of you to join us in another sterling victory over the forces of evil. Listen, you blue goon. You ruined a night's work. Careful. These things are sensitive. <clears throat> I was following them. They would have led me to the criminal mastermind behind their wicked scheme. But you two screwed that up. Hey, what's this? Happy birthday to me. You are cordially invited to a birthday party for the world's greatest criminal mastermind. Gift required. Come see me commit the most daring spectacular crime of this or any other century. Cool, the crime of the century. I should have known. Chairface Chippendale. Chairface? He's too powerful for me to take on alone. I'm going to need some help. <clears throat> oh, all right. I guess I could do a lot worse. Neat! Okay, now here's the plan. I told you, it's a motif! Ah, the forehead. And where is your partners in crime? Uh, they got nabbed, but, but I got the goods. Ah, don't go! Don't go shaking those. How can you have such a big head and such a tiny brain? Herr Chippendale, we have the lenses. The Geisman lenses. Let's take a closer look at them, shall we? Oh, Herr Chippendale, they are so beautiful! Oh. oh, hey, 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 watch it with that thing, will ya? Yeah, these babies can really burn. When properly arranged, they can focus the light of a single candle into a heat ray of unparalleled range and power. Yes, a ray from these lenses could cut a skyscraper in half. Or worse. It's just what I need to complete my super weapon. Now I ask you. Is that a birthday present or what? <laughs> What's keeping American made? She said she'd meet us at five. Hey, it's the sewer urchin. Yeah. How are you today? <sighs> Very poisonous. Don't touch me. Oh, <laughs> who'd want to? Yeah. So, uh, you guys, got any uh, super action going on up here? Yeah. Any uh, super villains you uh, need a hand with? Uh, anything like that going on up there? Yeah. We're going to stop the crime of this. Uh, yes. Uh, Ixnay on the end play, okay? 
No, no, it's pretty quiet up here. See you later, sewer urchin. Yeah, right. Get in, boys. Here, put these on. We're gonna sneak into Chairface's party as caterers. The tick caters to no man! Ow! Tick, work with me here, will you? Okay. Little crab things are great. You like them? They're my own recipe. Now listen, we're about to crash a party for one of the world's most dangerous criminal masterminds. And the guest list will read like America's most wanted. The Crease. Harriet Curse. Headless Henderson. The guy with ears like little raisins. Ah! Sheila Eel. The Deadly Nose. Jack Tuber. Man of a thousand faces. Eyebrows Mulligan. Yes, it's a spectacularly ugly menagerie of career wrongdoers. And there, at the top of this grotesque Sunday, the rottenest cherry of them all, Chairface Chippendale. Oh, diamonds. How original. More gifts! Happy birthday, Chairface. I hope you like it. He's Dean, my best henchman. He has the strongest hands in the criminal world. <laughs> Oh, I like him. Okay, you guys work the crowd. I'll get close to Chairface and try and figure out what his plan is. Would anyone care for a... Hey, where did you people grow up? Your weapon is ready here, Chippendale. Happy birthday! Hors d'oeuvres, Mr. Chippendale. I know that face. Try one of these little crab things. They're great! You are paid to serve, Oaf, not critique! Oh, I think you'll like these. <laughs> Tick! What are you doing? Would anyone care for a fruit cocktail? Hey! You're American made! <laughs> Man, she's good. Oh, hors d'oeuvres and a floor show. How can we ever thank you? Wait, I have an idea. Just relax. Make yourselves comfortable. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll snap this steel cable like pasta. Dick, you're crossing us! Ooh, sorry. So, another birthday present. Superheroes. This must be the part where I reveal my sinister plot. Allow me to unveil my new birthday toy. The awesome Geisman Heat Ray. With this lovely new weapon, I, Chairface Chippendale, will commit the ultimate act of vandalism. I will write my name across the face of the moon. <laughs> You'll, You'll never, never get, get away, away with, with it, Chippendale! Unfortunately, you three won't be around to witness my historic signature, because I'm going to feed you to my pit of ferocious man-eating alligators. What? 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 <clears throat> Standard villain procedure. <sighs> you entered my house as caterers, and you will leave it as the main course. You jerk! I really, really don't want to be eaten. Then swing! What? Swing with me, Arthur! <laughs> <laughs> Now we'll need a hand. You didn't expect a clip on, did ya? <laughs> I want a pony. Happy birthday, Chairface! Yeah. 
I haven't always had friends like you. Because I was born different. Because I didn't fit in, society shunned me. All my life, the world's tried to forget my face. But after tonight, they will never forget my name. Professor Chrome Dome, prepare to fire! Ready when you are, Herr Schippendale. And you see, new batteries even. We've only got seconds to thwart Chairface's evil plan and bring his villainous crew to justice. Give me a C! C! Oops. <laughs> <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Yes, but your plan didn't work. Now let's use my plan, brute force. No way. There's too many of them. We need a diversion. We don't have time for this. We've got to save the moon. Now give me an A. A. the rest of my A. I'm trying, but there's a malfunction of some sort. <laughs> Something in the electrics. <clears throat> Help. That's Arthur. Well, well. I assume your friends satisfied my alligator's appetites. Not quite. You. And you can thank my dental hygienist for our untimely aliveness. Party's over, chair face. <laughs> Blow your nose at me, mister. <laughs> Unsettling tread. Chairface. Would you people stop saying that? Especially when the fun is just beginning. The party's over, Chairface. Give it up, or we'll write this whole place off the face of the earth. Okay. No prison can hold Chairface Chippendale. Well, I have to admit I was worried. But you guys are pretty good at this. Yes, it was good saving the moon with you, American maid. Drive carefully now. A heart of gold beats under that big fiberglass croissant, Arthur. And thank goodness for it. 
It's spirit like hers that allowed us to thwart Chairface's evil scheme. And thwart we did. I guess so. See, what's that? You've got a little, some kind of yuck there.